Hi, in this video, Apostle Joshua Selman will be sharing with us on what it takes to genuinely walk with God. Prepare to be blessed by this video production. Let your heart be opened and stay connected. God bless you. In this kingdom, it takes weakness to defeat strength. The strength of God does not look for strength. When it comes and finds strength, it lifts away. It's looking for weakness. The weakness of submission so the earlier you told god i am weak the more you are you are attracting his strength lord i don't have the power to build that house i cannot build the ministry by my strength i don't have enough intelligence so i submit to you i'm not ashamed that my knees touch the ground welcome to start now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verses 130, The entrance of thy word is that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's light. Everything God intends to be made manifest in this realm, and everything the saints intend to be made manifest in this realm, it will take the partnership of the ministry of the Spirit and then it will take the bride who will agree like a submissive wife with her husband it will take the husband and the wife to birth anything are we together now and that in this case the bride must first accept that she's a bride when the bible says the spirit and the bride say come it's not in the talking it's first the admission that you are a bride there are implications for being a bride wives he says if you agree you are a bride then the hallmark of your bridehood is submission. Is God speaking to us now? So we are talking about the system that is responsible for manifestation. He is not just talking about two people, the spirit and a human being, saying the word, come. No, that human being speaking as a man will not get anything. It is only when that man becomes a bride that he can partner with the spirit to tell the word, come. So your first assignment is not to say, Lord, your kingdom come. Your first assignment is to become a bride. It is the spirit and the bride that can ask the word to come. Not the spirit and a man. Are we together? And to become a bride would require total submission. It was the Bible that says, wives, he said, submit yourselves to your own husbands paul was teaching the church in ephesus in everything not some things not the things you want not the things you desire not the things that are convenient so submission much more than gender is what really makes a person a bride in the spirit because you see in the realm of the spirit everyone is a woman everyone is a bride the bible calls the church his entire church irrespective of gender the bride of christ hallelujah women have come as an adumbration of how the church should be and so you can study the woman as a spiritual system that helps you understand the church he personifies his idea in an entity and he calls her woman are we still together that means i can stand even though filled with the holy spirit and I say, in the name of Jesus, let breakthroughs come. In the name of Jesus, let doors open. Merely because I saw it in scripture. The first system of vetting in the realm of the spirit is who is speaking. Until you are a bride, that word cannot come. I hope we're, we're making sense now. That it is the spirit and a human who goes through the sacrifice of submission. To make himself or herself a bride that can authorize the word to come so i can look at the results in your life and know whether you are truly a bride because if you are a bride the jealousy of your husband is invested in your desire the spirit and the bride say healing come so the spirit says healing come and the bride echoes on earth healing come and healing comes are we together now the spirit says breakthrough come and he waits for his bride to echo it too that means god has been saying many things in the realm of the spirit but where is the bride that will answer back lifting come and there is no bride but there are men speaking 
come grow increase advance and the law is violated it takes brides to speak let me show you how brides prepare themselves when you go to esther chapter 2 oh dear i wish we had time tonight in the book of esther the bible tells us about a strange man called ahasuerus are we still together that vashti was banished and there was a need for someone to occupy that position and young virgins were called from everywhere and mordecai attempted his little niece called hadassah to attempt from shushan to see if peradventure she would be able to win the king's heart and then the bible says all the virgins were kept under the custody of a man called Hegai, the keeper of the king's virgins are we together now and then the bible says that Hegai called esther and gave her a formula he said i've worked with the king for many years i know what the king wants don't mind what these women are doing they are all speaking and everybody believes the king will like them but you come to the one who can search the heart of the king what did paul say that no man knows the heart of a man except the spirit that is in that man and so he said i will give you some aloes and i will give you some ointments keep rubbing them on your body for one year after one year go to the king and the bible says she continued to engage with that ointment and when she passed the king esther chapter 2 verse 17 please give it to us the bible says and the king loved esther more than that means before she came there were others he was considering but as soon as she showed up he loved her more than other women and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins so he set a royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of vashti don't lose what we're teaching that it is the spirit and the bride that says come are we together you know the the extent of the extent of the truthfulness of a woman's relationship with her husband by the speed with which she responds in backing whatever she says let me give you an instance if um a woman has a husband who owns a company if she speaks on behalf of that company and say i donate 10 naira even if she does not have that money for the sake of his jealousy over her the husband will come to see to it that her integrity is protected are we together now that means every time we speak and there is no performance there is a marriage issue to settle between you and that husband <laughs> because when all things are well we expect that the jealousy of the man should come to back you so when you say be healed why are you left alone it means there is there is a marriage issue that we need to settle and the bible already tells us the integrity of that husband he already proved his love by dying he sent a spirit to represent his ministry now the spirit is there faithful waiting for you to showcase your bridehood to the world but one thing is lacking are you a bride indeed wives he says love your husbands or submit to your husbands in everything do you know that the formula for resisting the devil is not even shouting read what james told us he said submit yourselves are we together now you, you see it again so submit yourselves and then he says resist the devil from the standpoint of that submission to submit means to bring your strength under control to submit means to bring your worth under the authority of another now is a very ego stinging process but the excellency that follows cannot be compared wives submit yourselves to your own husbands 
and then you stand as a faithful bride and you can now begin to echo that which the spirit is saying so when the spirit says this family captivity ends you stand as the bride and say you may not see this husband but i stand representing him family be free and you your job is to echo and allow the power and the strength of the one who calls himself your husband to be introduced in the scene that means everyone who walks is not walking alone there is an invisible husband that backs you the excellency of his power and authority is demonstrated in your submission and then when you speak hallelujah pastor opie made a statement here while she was just setting the stage to introduce me and she said thank god for my husband he said he gave us access to his house to use it anyhow i said that's my message that's right i i may not own the house i may not have that authority but i have the leverage of the eternal love of a man i can i can take him for granted and yet he will just look at me and be happy he's not even concerned about his his i have become the object of his passion and he has made himself vulnerable with no shame let me tell you something the bible is a compendium of god's helplessness about his love for men to the point that the psalmist said i have a question i i have studied the environment i've studied them. what is man have you lost your creativity can't you create another species that this man will leave you alone insult you tear you down you will leave him and while the worship of heaven is going on your vulnerability starts betraying you and you now start sending a prophet go to that man and say let's talk i have loved you he said with an everlasting love and i have drawn you with my kindness listen when you understand the one who married you there is a level of confidence it will give you so when you stand before a situation even though you look at your weakness as a person suddenly your confidence is restored there is a responsible husband who is the monarch of the universe that stands to back me the the issue is not vetting his love the issue is vetting my submission How, have i come under that covering enough to authorize his word to come to pass in my life listen this is a very powerful formula because behind great people is an invisible but jealously loving god who is a husband indeed nobody sustains the power to produce certain results on earth without a spiritual backing whether it is demonic or it is um spiritual like towards god now there is a threshold level of impact you cannot go beyond as a mere man unassisted no no hallelujah when a woman gets married they celebrate her and after a few weeks everybody is just looking for signs what signs are they looking for as a testament so when people begin to look at your life you claim you are married you claim your husband is a responsible man where are the signs they begin they give you some time you may say we're taking our time that's all right i mean you can invent a formula for how you want to but after two years after three years someone is now authorized to call you and say are you sure everything is did you fight with your husband do you have a health condition because there should be signs now when you tell me you've been married for 10 years i have a right to say show me the signs there should be an evidence if not children pregnancy i'm speaking prophetically you understand what i'm saying yes what we are celebrating today is an evidence that spiritually speaking pastor opie and her husband have stood as brides their submission the validity of their submission is what we celebrate today 
because when she spoke and said the doors of your destiny will open there was a jealous husband who came fiercely to say where is the where is the devil that will stop that door from opening our confidence is not based on our strength in the flesh our confidence is based on the jealousy of the husband that we represent he has indoctrinated us with the awareness of his love that i have loved you with an everlasting love it is on the strength of that confidence we can stand to echo what we hear so if he says in this tenth year you are rising we dare to repeat after him that in this tenth year rise and then we leave you face to face with the power of the one who sent us please understand this formula and you will never fear situations and circumstances again the spirit and the bride say come the spirit and the bride say the next 10 years is guaranteed and you will speak it the spirit and the bride says no evil will come and prevail over your life the real assignment is not doubting the integrity of god the real assignment is to find out have i been a faithful bride we are going to pray have i been a faithful bride can i truly say my submission is in place are we together now yes jesus himself when he walked upon the earth he said i can of my own do nothing i know that you celebrate all the great things that i continue to do but it is not i have i have derobed myself of that majesty I am being influenced by one who connects me to the Father. With God, all things are possible. When women pray, let me tell you this. There is no limit to what God can do in your life. There is no limit to where he can take you. Every time you see a great man and you see a great woman, just know you saw a submissive bride. That's why when pastor lies down and rolls on the ground they are not doing it to you she's she's reminding that supernatural husband that i am still faithful and loyal even though you've lifted me i will not make the mistake of vashti vashti made a mistake that cost her are, are we together now yes sir. the mistake of vashti was she forgot that she was only queen because she married a king it was not an invention of her own power listen this is a message i want you to understand vastly if you ever create a camp for yourself outside of the influence of a hazardous you are gone esther wanted to make the same mistake but mordecai sent a message and said be careful someone was there before you someone's carelessness was what created space for you to come and if you are careless god will exit you and another will come and esther said i will not make that mistake i am an advocate i represent something a woman used submission to kill her man she never used a sword yet she killed every enemy there is power in weakness weakness is what kills strength when you see weak people fear them they are dangerously powerful in this kingdom it takes weakness to defeat strength the strength of god does not look for strength when it comes and finds strength it lifts away it's looking for weakness the weakness of submission so the earlier you told god i am weak the more you are you are attracting his strength lord i don't have the power to build that house i cannot build a ministry by my strength i don't have enough intelligence so i submit to you i'm not ashamed that my knees touch the ground if that is the requirement of my bridehood so be it and while the world is mocking you and say keep being a fool there god says clear the way let me show them the person you are worshiping let me show them that jealousy is the rage of a man A bride is not a female a bride is the one who chooses to submit we believe you are blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section you can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos so more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages we celebrate you
and see you in our next video thank you